The man is tonight behind bars, accused of murdering his father and his father's partner during a violent rampage on the New South Wales Central Coast. Locals in the suburb of Kalani Vale have been left shattered by the Good Friday killings, which police fear may have been witnessed by the couple's children. Natasha Exelby joins us now from the Kalani Vale home. Natasha, do we know yet what led to these deadly attacks? Well, Matt, it's believed that there was a whole string of violent events in the lead up to this. The man who is charged with these two murders is also accused of attempting to break into two separate homes, also stealing two different cars and allegedly stabbing a man in the process, as well as assaulting two other men at a takeaway store. Now, police were uh, alerted to this chain of events when there were reports that a young girl, nine years of age, ran out of this house screaming, this man has killed my mummy and daddy. Paul Breen was known as a family man. Between him and his partner Felicia Crawford, they shared six children, but now one of those children is accused of murdering both of them. And we've located two people deceased in the residence here. Uh, police have uh, managed to locate a 25-year-old male a short time later. Simon Richmond is a family friend. I didn't actually believe it. I thought, oh, then it was a bit of a joke, you know. Um, and then coming in, yeah, obviously seeing the police van in the street here, then obviously, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's real. It's alleged Corey Breen entered the house around 8pm and stabbed the couple to death. Their two young children witnessed the murder. They, yeah, well, Brooke, Brooke messaged me saying that they were, they were in the house, so, um, I mean, I can't just far out for them to see it. That's like, they're only real young, that sort of... And that'll scar them for life. Neighbours saw a lot of the little boy and girl. This time of the year, or any time of the year, but I mean, they've they been looking forward to looking for Easter eggs and that sort of thing, and you can only imagine what's going through their mind. All we thought about it was the kids. We just hoped the kids weren't there. It's alleged the 25-year-old embarked on a ruthless rampage in the lead-up to the horrific act. He's accused of a domestic fight on Hay Street in Gorakan before heading a few streets away and attempting to hijack a car and stab the driver. A few blocks over, it's alleged he was involved in an attempted assault on two males at a takeaway store. A short time later, there was an attempted home invasion and a car was stolen. Then, in Long Jetty, another vehicle was stolen. There was then another attempted home invasion in Kalani Vale, right before the accused allegedly murdered Paul Breen and Felicia Crawford. The 25-year-old was spotted on Wyong Road, where a police pursuit began, and officers finally arrested the man in Berkeley Vale, where they also seized a knife. Understandably, at this stage, there's a lot of work that needs to be done at this location and several other locations so that we can collect all the evidence. The chilling chain of events has sent a shiver down the spine of everyone in the neighbourhood, many thinking about the family who is mourning their loved ones. Shocking thing. I, I wish them all, all the best in, in the future and that sort of thing, but what, what can you say, you know? It's a shocking thing. Two parents have lost their life and their children are scarred for life. Maddie, Corey Breen has been charged with two counts of murder and also two counts of armed robbery, but more charges are expected to be laid before he appears in Gosford Court again on Tuesday.